Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and in today's video we will be tackling my to-do list. So if you have a to-do list of things you need to get done around the house, then let's go ahead and start cleaning together. All right, y'all know how much I love making lists. So this is what I need to get done for today. I need to clean the girls' bathroom. I need to organize under the kitchen sink. Um, once I organize, I'd like to clear the counters and put everything away that's on the counter, wipe down counters. And I'd like to fold both loads of laundry that I have currently. I wasn't able to fold my one load yesterday, so I'm merging it together today and I'm gonna be folding both. And then I need to put toys away. I'm going to try to get all of this done during my daughter's naps. Um, and that way I don't have any uh, disruptions or anything. So I may not show my to-do list in every video, but I make sure to get this done every time. It really helps me to stay on top of what needs to get done and I'm not forgetting anything. So if you do not do lists, you have to try it. And it's so satisfying marking everything off that you get done. So much time looping in the blurry lights. I wanted to show you all just how bad this bathroom counter was. Honestly, I've neglected this bathroom really bad. So it was time that I went ahead and took care of it. So I added it to my to-do list. I've got my caddy and I will be using the Clorox wipes to wipe down and disinfect, but I'll also be using the magic eraser to try to get that stain you see underneath the Bath and Body Works spray. curious do you all wipe down your counters and clean your bathrooms weekly or do you sometimes go every other week I know that a lot of us like to say oh yeah we keep our bathrooms clean all the time and uh, we clean it every week but if I'm being honest that's not true sometimes I'll go every other week and it's just life life gets in the way and I'm not able to take care of it I try to at least wipe down the counters as you can tell that did not happen in this bathroom but I really try to um, just because it gets gross and dust and all um, here in Texas we get a lot of dust and it ends up in the bathroom as well so let me know if you all have like a weekly cleaning routine or what it is that you all do to keep up with your cleaning of your bathrooms I recently picked up this coconut hand soap from uh, TJ Maxx and it was only $3. I thought that was a great deal and it smells so, so good. and I'm putting a new hand towel because it was time to change out the old one and I also tried to keep the um, toilet paper rolls on top of the toilet here as you see there's like a piece of paint that we actually had another toilet before it messed up on us so the landlord switched it out and because the other toilet was taller it leaves that mark where it wasn't painted so I've been trying to keep the toilet paper on there especially because I don't have the exact paint to go ahead and just paint it myself so I'll continue to just keep it covered. Y'all, I don't know if you follow Marina over at Fearfully Created, but she recently posted a video. Uh, she was tackling her to-do list and doing a few things around the house and watching this back reminds me of that video that she was wiping down her toilet and she actually censored where she was wiping it down. It had me laughing so hard at the things she was saying so go check that video out and you'll know what I mean. Okay, so I'm finally done cleaning the bathroom. I'm gonna move on to trying to organize underneath my kitchen sink. I'd essentially like to get it to where it's functional and I can find the things in there instead of having to dig towards the back. And I'd also like to find a way to clear my kitchen counter so that I can have a cleaner space and a clutter-free space. So if I do that, I need to make sure that this is organized so that I can put like the sink colander and the drying rack and all of that on top of the bins that I'm gonna be putting here. Or is it the same? 
with that girl you texting when I look away. These are the bins that I picked up at Ikea um, at my recent trip to San Antonio. I just got two of them because I knew that I wouldn't be able to fit three. I'm also trying to fit this trash bag uh, box there and it wasn't fitting with the pipes that you see there. So I'm going to try to take them out and fit them somehow in a minute. Also if you are buying sponges at your local store and they're usually like two or three for like three dollars, you have to go to Costco because it is one of those secret deals. Maybe it's not secret, maybe you do it yourself already, you buy them, but that those sponges are these Scotch uh, Bright, and it's a pack of, oh my goodness, I don't remember how many, I think it's like 20, and it's only like 12 bucks, so that's one of those things that I don't know what I was doing before, spending three bucks on two or three sponges, so if you don't have a Costco card, there are a lot of things that you are missing out on. going back to my to-do list I've cleaned the girls bathroom and I've also cleared underneath the kitchen sink and organized it I'm moving on to trying to clear the space here in the kitchen I'd really like to have just clear counters and no clutter so if I can move that drying rack from having to be on top of a counter 100% of the time that would be great so that I can get motivated to cook more if I'm being honest we've been a little spoiled eating out recently because I walk into the kitchen and I see the mess I see the clutter and I just don't want to cook if I'm being honest I just do not want to make more of a mess so I'd rather just pick up food instead of coming home and having to deal with cooking in this kitchen so let me know if you also have this issue I'm trying like I said to just clear it so that way I can cook more often at home some little containers to take some like snacks for my daughters whenever we go out and about and I picked up those take and toss ones from Walmart um, let's be honest I was just looking for some new containers <laughs> I really didn't need them I guess I could have used a uh, ziploc or something but I thought they were just cute because they're the perfect size and they've got the different colored lids and all um, so if you're looking for some inexpensive ones they were honestly like two dollars so it wasn't too bad and there's six little containers so I'm just gonna wash a few dishes that are here and then I can move on to finally clearing the space where the drying rack is at Believe it or not, my counters weren't actually that bad, so instead of using the Dawn like I normally do, I'm just using the Method Grapefruit Scent so that I can finish that up. I'm also looking for a new spray, like a multi-purpose or something, so let me know if you know of a good one. You don't wanna talk anymore I wanna get so numb, wanna get so numb while we enemies The 
The day that I was filming this was on Taco Tuesday, so we picked up some tortillas and we were very excited to try them, um, to make them at home. Usually we'll just pick them up, but instead we made them at home and they were delicious. We are thinking of doing this little, like maybe tradition on Tuesdays, instead of picking them up, we'll make them at home and make some rice sometimes, make some beans. So let me know, do you all do Taco Tuesday or is it one of those like little cliche things for you? Back to my to-do list, I cleared the kitchen counters and I'm going to work on picking up my daughter's toys and then folding the both loads of laundry. My kitchen looks so much better, there are a few things that I can still clear but I can work on that later. And look at this mess that I have to pick up, this is a daily thing. Usually I'll have her help me pick up uh, if it's at night but this was during her nap and I just really honestly wanted to clear the space there so I went ahead and put it away myself. And also she just had her second birthday and my mother-in-law got her this little th that orange box and then there's one that's on her shelf as well that's blue and it is that little kitchen set where you can like cut the fruit with it has like velcro and you use a little knife to cut it it is so cute and she's been using this apron and she really loves it and sometimes I'll sit and play with her and also play kitchen but I didn't think she was gonna like it as much as she does so if you have a daughter that loves being in the kitchen or son um, try those out I know that they'll love them and now moving on to my favorite house chore in the whole wide world and that is folding laundry <laughs> no I'm just kidding it's not my favorite but recently since I've been doing just one load a day I really haven't minded doing it but I did uh, have two loads today so I'm just kind of separating everything into groups and then I won't be hanging the shirts until my daughters wake up from their naps that is gonna do it for this video thank you all so much for stopping by I hope that you enjoyed it and it gave you a lot of cleaning motivation to tackle your to-do list if you enjoyed this video I'd love to have you join my YouTube family so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment letting me know a little bit about you and I can personally welcome you to this channel so thank you all again for stopping by and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>